Hey guys, this is Greg with Fit4 Expedition. Hello all you beautiful people. Thanks for being here today for my 100th upload on YouTube. That's right, 100. And I want to thank all of you for helping to get me there because your encouragement, your thumbs up, your comments, all of that are the reason, well, one of the main reasons why I continue um, because I know people really want to see what I'm putting out. So I feel good about that. I also want to thank those people who have channels that have pushed my channel um, and at a later date I'm going to start doing shout outs on my videos on most of my videos I'll be adding shout out shout outs and uh, you'll all be thanked and I appreciate every one of you this YouTube community is incredible uh, every part of it um, all the different groups the van lifers nomads the urbex, the paranormal, the roadside attraction folks, the amusement park people, everybody has been great. And I know I'm missing some groups there. Also, another thing I'm gonna be adding to the channel is I'm gonna be doing live streams. Uh, I don't know how often yet, I don't know what the schedule is gonna be, but I am gonna be doing live streams. I'm gonna have guests from the different uh, groups of people on YouTube, like I just mentioned. So I appreciate you guys. I thank every one of you for being here. And let's go on with the show. And this show is uh, an abandoned house uh, west of Tucson. And it's right bordering on the uh, Tohono O'odham Indian Reservation. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna find in this one. It's got me a little bit spooked. I don't see any car tracks. I saw that the gate had been opened on occasion, but, but we'll see what we see. I already had to go through one gate, but it doesn't say no trespassing or anything like that. It's only about maybe a quarter mile to the house on this dirt road, probably not even. I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to check that place out. So here I am. May as well take this way. So there hasn't been a vehicle on this road. Gosh, I'll bet you 10, 15, 20 years, 30 years maybe. Doesn't mean there's not anybody out here. So what do you think we're gonna find here? Any guesses? Look at that old road going up there. Wonder what we're gonna see. Hopefully you're not finding this as found footage under somebody else's name. Yeah, there's, there's light coming in through the roof of that part, so it's a messed up roof there. There's an old water tower. You can go up and check that out. That's on this old road that it pointed out when we first came in. Look at this volcanic rock. I haven't heard any voices coming from that building. 
which is a good thing. So here's the water tower, or water tank, I guess I should say. There is a fitting right there, it says 1978. It's a much closer view here. A lot of old cans. Old materials, you can see nobody's in there. Part built of rock, part built of block. The roof is not holding up very well on the flat roof parts, but it's actually doing pretty well on the slanted roof, which is to be expected. This is they were going to build another structure here at one point. That old wheelbarrow. Man, oh, look at this old stove. This old stove's got the top. You don't see them like this anymore. Old gas stove's got a griddle in the middle. A griddle in the middle. O'Keefe and Merritt. This is even an older stove. Man, look at that. But it's in, oh, it's porcelain. So it's retained its paint or its finish, I should say. That's really cool. That thing, it's a home to some type of animals now. This is what sometimes occurs. I don't know if you can see all those bees, but they just take over. So they've got hives. Look at this old keg. This keg is probably from the 60s or something. It's Coors. It's, Coors. it's an old Coors keg. It may not be that old, but it looks different. It certainly looks different than today's kegs. Make a really cool gas tank for somebody's hot rod, rat rod. Yeah, see, I thought there was too much light in here for it to be natural light from the windows. The nice big skylight. It's got the old porcelain cabinets. This is the other side. Guess what you would call your living room. Let me get between the bars here. Kind of a living room, dining room area. Also has some nice natural skylight. 
who knows how long it's been since anybody's been in here. Oh, well, there we go. stone wall in this area that scared me that was the door slamming um spooky when you get into a place like this not that anything's going on you know out of the ordinary Here's the old kitchen. The old porcelain cabinets. Hey guys, so I hope you like what you saw here on today's episode of Fit4 Expedition. If you did enjoy it, Maybe think about subscribing to the channel. There's a bunch more Abandoned Arizona videos on the channel. Also, if you like this particular video, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, I will get back to you. And you know what? Think about sharing this with people that you know that are into the same kind of stuff as we are, because they might love it too. All right, this has been Greg with Fit4Expedition, and I will see you next time.